what's up guys learning with rich here in this video we are going to add levels to our project okay so let's do this so i'm gonna open my elevation view because for you to be able to create your level you need to be on either elevation view or section view okay so as you can see on my structure tab from the datum panel you will notice here the level the shortcut is ll by the way so you can see here the level is disabled right because currently you are on the floor plan view okay so this is a floor plan view so you need to go to either elevation view or section view for you to be able to create level okay so let's go to the level so i'm just gonna double click this to open the north elevation or of course you can go to the project browser and then double click there the elevation that you would like double click and then you can see here you have one default level here basement and also we have here the associated floor plan view for that uh, level basement okay so let's create level so let's click the level here let's click that and then using the line tool i'm going to move my pointer until it aligns to the end of the basement level and then as you can see there's your temporary dimension right so when you see it now aligns so you can now type the distance that you would like from your basement level to the next level so you can type the distance so let's say uh, 3600 i'm gonna enter there you go and i'm going to click here and align that to the basement to create my level and then i'll select here modify to terminate so as you can see after i create my level 2 it also creates the level 2 floor plan view okay why because when you create level so you have this option checked by default so you have the make plan view check by default so every time you create level it will create the plan view for that particular uh, level okay so you just remember that because there are some instances you do not like to create the plan view of the level that you are creating. You just want to create sometimes the level as your reference level, but you do not want to create the floor plan of that. Okay, so if that's the case, you just need to uncheck this one. Okay, now, so I'm going to select here modify to terminate this. So next is I'm going to copy my level to two times above with the same distance of 3600 okay so just like the distance of my basement to level 2 so 3600 so i'm going to create level 3 and level 4 using copy so i'm going to select level 2 and then from the modify panel i'm gonna select copy and then i'm just gonna make sure multiple here is check and constraint here is check so i'm going to pick here and then move my cursor up and then you type 3600 enter and then you move again your pointer up type the distance 3600 and then modify so what have you noticed you will notice here the color so the color here is black the basement level 2 here is blue the reason is that there is no associated floor plan view created for your level 3 and level 4. You see on the project browser, there is no level 3 and level 4. Okay, so that's what black color signifies on your level bubble head here. Okay, so now for us to be able to create the associated floor plan view for your level 3 and level 4 here, on our project browser by the way after we create our level a while ago it also adds here our level 2 for the floor plan we don't need this one because we already have level 2 here so i will just delete this one okay so now let me show you how to create the associated floor plan view for your level 3 and level 4 so to do that you just need to go to the view tab plan views and we're going to create a structural plan just click this and then select both the level 3 and level 4 so hold control and then click level 4 and then after that just select ok and there you go so it's now added here the floor plan and if we go back to our elevation view you will notice that it now becomes a uh, blue color right so meaning level 3 and 4 or all of our levels already have the associated floor plan view 
Okay, so now let's uh, rename our uh, levels to finalize our exercise. So for this one, this is basement. So I'm just going to make this first, uh, first floor. And then this one is obviously second floor. And then we have our roof. This one, roof. There you go. And then just select here, modify. All right. So that's our exercise. So by the way, uh, if you want to add here the level head, so what you do is you just click one of the level and then click that box and it will now be added there. Or let me undo. You can click one level and then select edit type. We're going to modify the type properties of the level that we are working on. So we have here the symbol on the graphics parameter. So just tick this one and then select OK. There you go. So no need for you to do it one by one. All right. So that's how you create our uh, levels and that's how you create the associated floor plan view for the project browser. Okay, so hopefully you learned something from this video. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.